One week removed from a grueling setback at Memphis, the Rebels returned to the confines of Vaught Hemingway Stadium with a singular focus. Get back their swagger. Squaring off with their SEC West Ken Texas A&M would give the Rebs a chance to not only reclaim their confidence, but also to notch a very crucial win in the race for their division. Enjoy these moments. It's not coach talk when we tell you that these moments in life are spare. They don't come around too often. You're talking about 12, 13, 14 times a year. And for some of you guys, it's done real soon. Enjoy every minute of tonight's moment. Enjoy it, but play with great effort and energy in every step. You guys have so much talent in this circle. Let it show tonight. Let it show every snap. Play every single play like it's the one that matters in the outcome of the game with as much passion for 60 minutes and then let's look up at the scoreboard and see what it says and we'll live with the results, but I think you'll like them. Take a stand, one, two, three. Take a stand. To get it start on a team right away, knowing that you can move the ball, it builds confidence not only for the offense, but it carries on for the defense to turn up also. So we knew we had to go in and execute the game plan, and we did that from the start. First down, Kelly, play action pass. Chad's going deep, down the middle of the field, far side. Treadwell knocked down at the last moment. There comes a flag. He wrapped his arm around him at the 15-yard line. OK, F the team out. Let's go, F the team out. There we go. It sets the tone for the game. Um, it shows the defense that we're not afraid to attack them. And um, that's what Coach Warner wanted to do from the start. He wanted to take a shot and let them know that um, we're, going, we're not afraid to throw it deep. So it opened up the underneath game and, and the run game also. There's his snap. He hands it off to Walton. Straight to the middle. Has a little bit of opening to the 30, to the 35, to the sidelines of the 40, to the 45. Knocked out of bounds around midfield. Option to the near side. Kelly fakes it, keeps it. He's got the first down as he's pulled down. And looks like a face mask also. There's a snap and a pistol. He fakes it. Sprints out to his left. Wants to throw. Fires in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Ole Miss. And the Rebels strike first as Evan Ingram gets his first of the season. Well, I seen the corner kind of come up at first. It was a little boot bootleg, and I seen the corner kind of hesitate a little bit, not knowing if I was going to throw the corner out to Quan. I said, you know what, I'm going to try to hit my over route. And I seen Evan, but I didn't see the safety coming down. And if I would have thrown a little bit farther in front of Evan, then might have got picked. But uh, Evan made a great play on him. He made a great catch, and he got the touchdown. Chad Kelly was rolling to his left, threw back across his body into a receiver who was in between two Texas A&M defenders. Well, that's what play action does, David. It absolutely just froze the linebackers. Let's make a statement tonight, man. Ah, I'm good. Hey, on that, baby. Hey, we're running that thing. Now, you want to set the tempo. Early in a football game, whether you're on offense or defense, you want to definitely set the tempo. And, uh, you know, we were able to go out there and stop them, and then the offense takes it down and scores. That's a great feeling. So uh, the challenge is to go back and stop them again immediately or get a turnover. Uh, go three and out and get a turnover. Defense playing their tails off, bro. We good. We gonna score. The points gonna come. They gonna come one way or another. Sophomore place kicker Gary Wonderland would shake off a first quarter miss to add nine points to the Rebel tally. Playing with the lead and a fired up home crowd, the Rebel D would suffocate the Aggies. There's the snap. Allen in the pocket, has time, fresh up the middle. He's in trouble and will be sacked. Marquise Haynes got there first. You guys are flying around, I love it. Be smart, take angles, comes back to fundamentals of football. Now it's up to Kyle Allen on the offense to try to get him down at least in field goal range. Allen steps up, tries to throw, flips it downfield, tipped up in the air, and intercepted by Ole Miss. The Rebels get it right back. Kendarius Webster stepped in front of it. Hey, 15, hey. good cover. Way to be locked in and go get it. I was kind of about 10 yards back, and uh, I seen Cam break on the curl route, and you know he broke it up, the ball went straight up in the air. But I seen Zedrick, you know, had his hands out like this, think he finna catch it, but he caught Ken's body, though. They were running a curl route with their number one receiver. It's one of their lead um, passing routes going into the game, and we'd worked hard on it. And I thought Ken did a great job of seeing it, got it tipped up in there, and then came down with it. So uh, changing the momentum back to our side again on our end of the field uh, was very important in the game, big play in the game. The handoff is dropped. It's picked up by Ole Miss. Fumble in the backfield, and the Rebel C.J. Johnson scoops it up, runs 
for three or four yards before he's tackled it. I don't think Carson was expecting it. He tried to pull it. See, I ran right at the mesh. Running back thought he had the ball, and the quarterback thought he had the ball, and uh, we ended up having the ball. Certainly, C.J. is the leader of this defense, and uh, having him back out there and being in the huddle, well, it just makes a huge difference. Having him back, you know, he, you can tell in his eyes that he was ready to play, and he was going to get that de defensive line lined up and get ready to play, and uh, it showed. So the Rebels are up 13 at the break and a hard-fought first half, no question about that. Impose your will on them. They don't impose it. It's simple to fight. You're having a. We've had fun tonight, man. So have fun for 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. No matter what. We've had some breaks go our way. We had some not go our way. No matter what, we do not believe. After 60 minutes, we'll all look up and see what it says. All right? Take a stand. One, two, three. Take a stand. To understand the challenges of a Division I football athlete, one must appreciate the physical demands involved. This game, between two hungry SEC West foes, was a lesson in bone-jarring tenacity. The Rebel offense had found its balance on this night, setting up both the ground and pound, and the aerial attack. Bootleg to the left, and Kelly's throwing deep to Treadwell's. Got him out there. He's got the catch, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. I've been telling him you can run a post. A freaking post. Go, we dropped one. We dropped one. The way he ran it was was perfect. I mean, he he got into the DB's um, rearview mirror, thinking he was going to go one way and cut it back the other way, and outran him. I knew I had a post, so um, I wanted to sell it where. I got in his blind spot and he would have to turn and flip his hips and I leaned like I was going outside and once he threw his head and tried to find me, I stuck it and just started running. And Chad let it go and I just chased the ball down. I seen that guy flip his hips one way and I seen Quan go the other way and I said, all right, I'm gonna let it ride now. So I did. You know, it's hard to overcome big plays like that for the touchdown, especially when it puts you down a third touchdown. As well as the offense played, this night truly belonged to the Land Sharks. On the 49 of the Rebels, there's the handoff, and Evans is the guy that makes the tackle. Spinning close to the first down is James White after he grabbed him, he dropped him. I thought we played with great. Uh, energy and passion. I uh, thought we executed uh, as well as we've executed all year uh, defensively. Take it mindful that your teammates is uh, depending on you what to do. As long as everybody do their, uh, their assigned job, can't nothing go wrong, and that's what we did. Texas A&M will go for it with 7-10 to play, trailing 23-3 to by 20. There's the snap. He's going to hand it off and hit from behind. It's going to be interesting if he got enough. It was James White. This Ole Miss defense really just has continued to come up with big play after big play. We just got to keep practicing hard like we did last week, and we just can't slow down. We got to keep playing fast and physical. Can't take any days off and, and just stay hungry. Stay really, really hungry and understand what our main goal is, and we just have to take play by play, and everything else will work out. See y'all next week at Auburn. Tough week last week. We made a statement. We made our minds up that we were going to make a statement. This weekend, went hard all week, locked in, and it showed tonight. We had a lot of fun. Still a lot of things to work on, but we're going to get back on it. And uh, our season's still way we want, baby. Let's get it. We have one game seasons, and you control you. It's really that simple. Now, congratulations. You're bowl eligible. Hey. I couldn't be prouder of your defense. That was a land shark defense tonight. Uh, extremely proud of our kids and our coaches. During uh, adversity in life, you find out a lot about people, uh, everyone. You, you find out a, a lot about uh, 
who who is really who and that's what we challenged our kids with this week is uh, man you play out of love and passion for 60 minutes and that will be good enough at the end of the day for for us we can look each other in the eyes and uh, and know we, we did it the way we're supposed to do it. Great win, great energy, great passion, great love. That's all it is. It's just straight love. Let's enjoy the rest of the season, baby. Facing adversity. Presents a man to himself. Hey, we, got, we ain't afraid to bounce back, man. Just got to stay on the grind, man. Auburn next week, man. It's time to go eat, baby. We coming. I'm just on another level as far as mindset. And and drive to, to go practice and to get the week started and learn what we got to learn and push my guys to, to know how I feel about this game and get them on that same level. We're not going to look for this as a revenge game. We're just going to take it one game at a time. No need to go no further than the revenge game when it's just, you know, everybody's just here to play the game they love. You know, you play the game you love. You can't, can't nothing go wrong with that.